Well, the buzz UG. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and I'm back to keep you posted on the stories making headlines in the country. First of all, I'm very sorry, guys. I've not been around for like two days. I had issues with my recorder, so I had to fast fix it. And I hope you are hearing me right now very well. Otherwise, subscribe to the buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, this week, General Mohozi Kanerugaba assured the public that he has to become president of Uganda because that is the only way he can repay his great mother. The only way I can repay my great mother is by being president of Uganda, and I shall definitely do it. Now, recently in an interview, Dr. Kiza Besije assured General Mohozi Kainerugaba that there is no reason for him saying he wants to become the next president of Uganda because he has no clue about this country, neither does the people of this country know him. Dr. Kiza Besije said Ugandans wouldn't mind if he and his father, President Museveni, were not using taxpayers' money to do whatever he does because there is nothing he's doing. Dr. Kiza Besije further revealed that at first it was General Salim Saleh to replace President Museveni, but on realizing that Saleh was also aging, they decided to put General Mohozi in the army. Now, State Minister Sam Mayanja's 22-year-old daughter Belinda Birunji on Friday died in an accident that happened along Stretcher Road in Tinda where she was traveling on a border border. And guess what? She had just found a job and uh, she was barely three months into the job. She will be buried on Monday tomorrow in Bukumula village that is in Mitiana district. Unfortunately, the safe border rider also died instantly. May all their souls rest in peace. Now, Francisca Amoni, a lawyer and a senior member in the Democratic Party, is in police custody in Gulu City after she stabbed Dr. Joseph Etuka, her husband, to death. The deceased was a medical doctor in Barara City, while the suspect is a lawyer, politician and a human rights activist. Well, according to the police statement, the suspect handed herself to the nearby police post and she's currently being held at the Gulu West Division Police Station. May his soul rest in peace. Well, and finally, from the entertainment industry, Chris Evans' show at Freedom City was a success yesterday. Ugandans supported him in big numbers, as you can see in the pictures right there. I should say, the crying paid out. Yes, what can we say? The crying paid out. <laughs> and also, Ray G from Barara had a concert at Imperial Hotel. It wasn't bad as well. Yes, it wasn't bad as well. A very big congratulations to Chris Evans and Ray G. Yesterday was a very big day for them. And of course, we hope that they received exactly what they expected. <music> That is it for now on the Buzz UG and uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you.